we're going to talk about loose chains today. Seems like wherever you go, you'll find loose chains on the on the floor, in the garbage even. It being a janitor, you'll see that quite often. And even ripped dollar bills. Yes, this is only half of a twenty dollar bill. I'll get to that a little bit later. You will notice as I pan up there are three piles one two and of course three I will also talk about this in a little bit there's three piles of coins loose change rolled that's about sixty one dollars most of its pennies so each rolled only like fifty cents and then this pile is the currency that don't work because these three are Canadian and most places around here just don't take it. Machines don't. Even the cashiers will give it back to you. Tried it. It didn't work. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about loose change mainly due to the economy and the the employment rate. This right here is money. This this is money. It will buy you things. Let me get my wallet out just for a comparison. Here is a normal one dollar bill. This will pay the same things these do. I don't know why people don't like loose change because you can turn change into a dollar bill when you roll it and take it to the bank. So my main I guess rant you could say is why don't people pick up loose change, collect it, put it in one of these things which is this is just a counter, put the coin in there, shows up it is battery operated. I don't have one in there right now. But you just put the coin in. See that thing to the right of my finger. That thing will slide open and determine what size coin it is, whether it's a quarter, penny, dime, nickel. These can go for 10 bucks, I'd say. But I I love picking up change because where I work which would be Wonderworks. There's always, always, always change. I would say at least 90% of the change right here is from work. And I found this while I was working too. I'll get that into in a few minutes. But this is good money. This is, it's not paper money. It's not as easy to you know buy things with it but it's still money it adds up if you just get one of these add up change a couple months you'll have 50 bucks before you even know it and I do before I forget because these are really dirty you can actually see how nasty they are compared to like a brand new one they are pretty rough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a separate video I'm not gonna cut the footage um, but it'll be hard to tell I'll try to get a timer or a watch or something to put next to it but I found one of these at work they're just tossing them unopened and these will clean up pennies like you don't even know I'll make a video to prove it and I will take the six pennies which are pretty bad condition and make them like brand new again so that's that's another video to check out if you're interested in coins currency uh, restoring currency or just like cleaning up money 
whatever the reason may be, because some of the coins I just showed you were like 1940s. So that's mainly why I want to clean those ones up. I didn't really think about this video too much, but I did want to make a video on how easy it was to take loose change, roll it up, and you'll get money. Because most consumers these days are all about the dollar bills and with just a small portion I have a dollar bill and I still have a shit ton left I probably at least have another I'd say five six bucks in just quarters plus nickels dimes pennies so I'd say at least between 10, 10, 15 bucks here, just right here, on top of the 61 that's up there. So really, save your loose change. It will come in handy. You never know when you're going to need the extra buck, whether it's for a tank of gas or a gallon of milk, whatever. And you need to can't wait till payday. This could save you. Even if you wanted to put it away for storage. Still a good idea just to save it. Unless you have a reason to use coins. Like at work if you like to buy like a soda or something. Use your change. Better than wasting it like a dollar bill. Preferably I'd rather use change on a vending machine than an actual dollar bill. That's my preference. I'm just weird like that, I guess. And now for the final, final note. Is this $20 bill? I was actually, when I picked it up, I was expecting a full $20 bill. I'm like, oh, sweet payday, you know. Got an easy 20 bucks, just finding it off the ground. Nope. People are so stupid, they would waste $20 and rip it in half and then just leave it. They don't take it with them, tape it up, make it look like it's still intact. No, they just throw it on the ground like it's no big deal. It's pretty sad because the place I work is more than 20 bucks to get in for an adult. Like a child under 13 or a senior citizen, they're just under 20 bucks, but it's like 25 bucks for a person to get in. So even if this was a full $20 bill, the place I work at could not get you in there. So it's ridiculous how people just waste money. That's about it. Um, if you're really into saving up the coin and you're just watching this for entertainment, a place that I actually found that was probably like in plain sight, wouldn't expect, is actually the mall just walking around with the girlfriend shopping doing like the holiday shopping last month I found quite a bit of quarters since I'm used to looking at the floor and cleaning it as my job it's just my nature of looking at the ground and noticing this while everyone else is just running around with their freaking heads cut off but that's about it keep your loose change Roll it up and get some more bills. Or if you want to prepare for an economy collapse, I would suggest just rolling them up just because it's more convenient, easier to store. And just store them away. Bury them in your yard. Put them in a safety deposit box or a storage unit somewhere safe where no one else would expect them to be but that's it I'm out of here hope you enjoyed the video check out my video with the dip and squeeze Heinz ketchup and restoring I wouldn't say restoring but cleaning up pennies alright thanks for watching